I'll just hand over to. Okay, great. Uh, the recording has started. Right. So yeah, I'll just hand over to um, MT Nan to lead and also for Ramit uh, to support the technical questions. They're both technical, but yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, good. So over to you, MT Nan. Okay, thank you, Rodas. Um, yeah, I hope you'll hear me well. Um, so let's see hands going up for questions or like any for um, contributions to this stand-up. Can you also indicate if you can hear me well? I was facing technical issues before. Thank you. Uh, great. Uh, go ahead, Abu Bak. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh my on the technical issue part i i actually had trouble when i try to run uh code it keeps crushed I, I don't know why but uh i think nothing really is also requesting uh, the code i'm trying to run but basically what i'm what i was trying to do was to get the model of Gary Logistics and the model from Llama and uh, trying to pre-train it. Like I have actually collected the data and everything and the only step was fine tuning. So I don't know why it keeps maybe crashing. I don't know what's happening. So, it's connecting. So, so um... Uh, have you managed to download actually the the models? Yes, but like in the middle, for example, uh, for El Lama two in the middle, it it keeps crashing. So I when when you download have, it, yeah. Okay. I I would share the I would show you the code, but again, it it, it can't connect the SSH. My VS Code cannot connect to SSH, that's why. I see. So, okay, it's a problem of connection. So, because uh, other people were facing this problem also yesterday. Um, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, so it keeps crashing. I don't know what. Like, it's not about the connection, but uh, it's just when I run some of the codes uh, in the middle, it, it keeps. Yeah, uh, it matters what kind of code you're running. So if it's like uh, this is the downloading one, if you're da just downloading the, the models, or is it like you are doing some actual training or fine tuning? Uh, yesterday it was trying to fine tune, but okay. today it was the downloading part. All right, so, but don't you need also to auto to download the model only this once? Or is it a problem with connection, you said? um okay since I don't, uh, uh, because it was uh, giving me some issues i actually cleared the cages and tried to ah. do it again that's what ah, i see i see okay okay since uh, like uh Nathaniel is on on the case if it's um as a, a problem with uh with um instance um it should be solved uh, later okay um thank you Walker, for for sharing uh anyone else uh, it also, since uh, Walker managed to download the models before, the people who are facing problems uh, downloading the model, I don't know if they managed to do that uh, by the end, but like uh, maybe um, if Walker doesn't mind, he can also show you like how he did it, like uh, when it worked for him. Okay. Thank you, Walker. Uh, he's giving uh, some substance, he doesn't mind. Okay. Anyone else? Also, to just tell us how where were you are standing at the moment. Uh, today's Friday, so yeah, okay. Um, yeah, we need volunteers. Please speak. There is no pressure. Like I don't know if you feel pressure, like participating in this standup, but it's really nothing you, you say here is wrong. Like uh, you can say whatever. Like I'm at this point in working, nothing is working for me, or like everything is perfect. You can say anything. So I. <laughs> 
if it's like speaking up is a problem, this is your chance to to practice. Um, Hey, Sheila, go ahead. Um, hi, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, um, so um, from where I am, I was trying to connect to the GPU yesterday using Visual Studio. So first of all, I had to, because I resorted to use um, Ubuntu on VirtualBox, because like, yeah, I resorted to use Ubuntu on VirtualBox. I had to transfer my keys from transfer my keys from Windows to um, to my Ubuntu, which took a little time because I didn't know how to do it. I thought it would be easy. Um, so I have a need to do that, but I haven't been able to connect to the GPU. I asked on the Slack yesterday and I got um, feedback from, I got feedback, but I asked really late and I got feedback really late. So I haven't tried it out yet. Got feedback from, okay. Yeah, then, um, sorry, I got, Oh, I got feedback from Abdelarman, but I haven't tried it yet, so I'm going to do that. Also, I was um, trying to figure out basically what was happening, because like I tried figuring out from Wednesday, and um, I think I'm making a little bit of progress. I wanted to try to do some inference on a particular model. I wanted to try MBAT. MBAT, yeah, because it's a multi, I researched and I found that it's a multilingual um llm and it's already pre-trained pre but i've been having issues with um installing torch in my system so that's what i'm currently working on so basically that's my progress so far okay great uh how about like uh, you're working in teams so how about your like uh, the team effort how is it going going along um the team dynamic is um, is good actually um we're five members and everyone is doing what they're supposed to, sorry <clears throat> what they're supposed to be doing so um from where we are we've already pre-processed the data and um, we were trying to we're trying to figure out which model to use and um two of the two of the people in my group have already connected to the gpu so in case I don't manage to do it in time, I think we can work with them. But we've yeah. been communicating, we're having regular meetings. Okay, okay, great. So because only one of you have to do the fine tuning, actually. So um, uh, if one of you managed to connect and run the, the training code, that's uh, enough. Uh, Abu Bakr, do you need to ask a question or like add something to what is being said? Uh, yes. It is more like a question, but uh, can I run the? I, I can see that uh, Google Colab has got like fifteen GB of GPU. So can I test it on Colab? Is it possible? To do that? If 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 you like, of course, of course, test it on Colab. If uh, it's um, yeah, it has some GPU. The free the free um, um for free accounts. And if um, if your model is light enough and if the training is uh, not uh, like um, it, co it could it could be like I don't know I'm not sure um, how well it will work but of course you can try it and it will not hurt to to actually try. Okay, yeah, yeah. Since this is taking uh, like 30 minutes to uh, go back online, so yeah. Yeah, you can, you can, yes, you can try and see like the test at this part of the code. Um, I like uh, maybe for the larger models and for the most, uh, um, and of course, the problem with Scholab is that sometimes you cannot, uh, it, it's not like the with free account, you, you're not guaranteed to have GPU, so sometimes you will not have it, but uh, sometimes you will, yeah, like it will be available and then you can connect to it and use it. So, yeah. Okay, uh, anyone else after Sheila? Thank you, Aboka, for a question. Um, uh, there was Johannes. Go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so I don't got much to share, but yesterday I was trying to own some model. I'd like to try to test it on our data set. And 
Yeah, it's got a pretty good result. Since I can't connect with the server, I was working on Kaggle and uh, Google Code Lab. So for today, I'm planning to maybe go over the challenge document again and try different model. Uh, so when you say you have good uh, results, uh, what do you mean? Like what they have? Like actually it's not the best but for now i'm getting like a result of uh for f1 score for example i'm doing classification model okay i'm getting around 87 but i think we can still make it uh, okay what, what, what is the name of the model you're using uh it's called the birds model uh, okay all right uh, I, yeah, yeah birds model model Okay. Okay, good. Uh, that's good. Um, thank you for sharing. Um, all right. And all else? Yeah, Johannes, before, like, uh, maybe you can ask you also about the, your group dyma dynamic, if you, like, everyone is, uh, how is it going? So it's good with everyone, but I haven't checked with everyone yesterday. I talked with only one of our team member, but the dynamic is good, everyone is participating. Okay, that's great. Uh, yeah, maybe you can also have like a meeting um, so that like, um, when it's convenient, of course, for everyone. So that like, uh, I mean, it's great that everyone is contributing. Uh, also great, it, it would be even better if like there is a continuous or consistent uh, communication um, with, the, with the group. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Hannes. Um, anyone else? Okay, Abdurrahman, we have... Uh, okay, Abdurrahman, you can go ahead. Uh, also from group one, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, no, maybe yeah, it's having a problem. Japes, go ahead. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yesterday, I was trying to install uh, Llama. I uh, first tried the, uh, I think the, uh, the model that was not quantized uh, directly from Meta, but uh, after installing, I have uh, an issue, it was not running. So I tried uh, to download the, I think the quantized version from Hugging Face. But I'm, okay. uh, I'm, I'm trying to authenticate it, but uh, I used my token from Hugging Face, but it says authentication failure. Uh, I tried different way, but it's not working. Uh, I'm struggling with that. Okay, so you are, you are, are you doing this on the server, on the instance? Yes, yes. Yeah, so I don't know, maybe, um, because Abu Bakr was saying also he's, he's facing problems and um, not now, I don't know if it's the same problem actually you're facing or not, but there seems to be some kind of an issue with the instance at the moment. Um, I'm not sure. So you're saying like when you're logging, uh, so maybe did you try to just create a new access token for for Hugging Face and trying a new one? Yes, I, I try. I think I created about four or five, and uh, regenerating also the token, and I tried it, but uh, it's not the loading. Okay, so uh, just to just to confirm that the problem is actually with an instance or not, you can try to load the model on on Collab on Google Collab and see if it works for you. And then okay, um, I, I tried a different uh, uh, model uh, for, from the hugging face and it was working. Uh, okay. Just a simple classifier model and I tried to... Cla so not uh, Llama? Uh, not Llama. Yeah, so the problem is Llama. Um, so I don't know, like you, you are sure that you got all your, like um, uh, you asked for all the access from Meta and then access on hugging face, you, you did the two the two steps, right? 
Yes, I, I, I requested an access for the Lama Hugging Face and they confirmed me with the an email that was it was granted. Uh, so I go no, there, I, follow the yeah, so yeah, so yeah, you are you you have to ask access twice. One from Meta yes. that when you fill the form and you get the email, and then when you when you are get you're trying to get the 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 model from Hugging Face, you have to go to the Lama web page. Yeah, sorry, the Lama Hugging Face. Sorry, just let me open it here just to yes. show you. Yes. You did that. Also? Yes. Okay. Yes, I did. I I did get both of them uh, from Meta okay. and also from Hugging Face. All right. So yeah, I I I don't really know if. So just like mm -hmm. as, I, as I said, maybe try to um, yes, try like on Google Colab. This is my guess, advice to see like if the problem is with the innocence. Try on Google Colab to load Llama on Google Colab uh, and see if you get it or not. Um, yes. Okay, I will show my uh, error also on the Slack. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Good. So okay. I hope I hope this is going to be solved uh, soon. Um, thank you, Jabez. Um, anything else you want to add? That's it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Itachu? I'm not sure that. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Also, can you confirm? Like, yeah, can you say your name for me? Like, I always feel like I'm saying it wrong. Yeah, you're right. Kitachu. <laughs> Kitachu. Okay. Good. Go ahead. Uh, as Johannes mentioned, our book is working very good dynamics. So I have only one question. Uh, I have an issue, like uh, Javi said. I was uh, posting yesterday. I am not uh, able to get gamma. Um, I was trying to learn lots of ways to access it, but I'm not able to. I use the SSH way, I use the token, and I tried it using password. But I was able to access it. I'm not sure why. This is my uh, one case, but another case, I was, uh, we were trying to uh, fine tuning some more American words movie yesterday night with uh, Johannes. So after I finished uh, the process, the memory was occupied. Uh, is it the way or I should I kill every time after I finish, I finish the process? Uh, or is there any way? This morning I was trying with some knowledge, so the server says the memory is occupied. When I try to see it, it was the process that I was running uh, at night. So after finishing every uh, process, should I kill? The process myself is there any way any other way also, or what what can you suggest me i'm sorry that like uh, the sound may was breaking maybe it's my i'm not sure it's on my side or yours but like, can you repeat again? What is uh, what is your question? Okay, okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, uh, yesterday night, with, uh, the our group were trying to find him some model, as Johannes was uh, mentioning. So yeah. after finish finished uh, that uh, process, uh, so this morning I was trying to see with other models. So uh, when I see that uh, process was occupied with. Uh, Fine tuning that I have done yesterday, so that it, it's out of memory. I check it up. It was the process that I have done yesterday. So, is it the process? Is it the way after completing each process should I kill that process, or I don't know how how, how the process is occupied after finishing its process? Okay, so uh, yeah, so you're saying the process is setting up memory, meaning that the process is still running. Yeah, yeah, but I'm I'm done with that. So should I kill every time every time that I finish the process? Yeah, I don't I don't get why. Like if it's a process is is over, why do you need to? Why did not finish on its own? Uh, I don't get like um, technically what what's happening. So maybe can you write the question on Slack and and 
tag me and maybe not now or on it just to oh. see like yeah but i'm not sure i don't want to say something that maybe doesn't apply in this case so yeah okay thank you uh, do you have anything else to, to add or ask i think that yeah okay thank you so yeah just uh, write this down on slack and thank you uh let's see um there are like contributions on the chat from mahbuba like she said like i'm sorry i cannot talk now but to share my progress i have been on my pc issue yesterday and now i am able to solve the issue and trying to download the current model and work with it our group then it. that's great um i mean if uh, if one of just like uh one of the members of the group can just manage to download the model that should be enough um okay and again i think uh, maybe uh, there is an issue with an instance at the moment i'm not sure when it's going to like solve or not but uh can follow like updates on slack uh okay uh next up rahman right so he is apologizing because we couldn't hear him because of internet connection issues so that's not a problem uh can you speak now Abdurrahman? hello can you hear me yeah okay uh i'm with johannes and detach uh in the team so one of our plan was uh, to try to fine tune more than one model to see what's sped up. So I chose uh, Mestro, but uh, I didn't load it to server yet since uh, I was wondering how the size uh, that uh, I able to use uh, in the server. I mean, uh, uh, is the size for a team? Uh, for example, is, uh, is there is a specific size for the team to use or or uh, how is the server uh, distributed? Uh, so you want to see if we can run this, this fine tuning of Mistral or download it even to the instance alongside uh, what you have, other models you have? Yeah, because uh, I see it's uh, size about uh, 14 giga. So yeah. I wanted to know how the size I can use uh, in the server. Okay, so uh, again, I'm not sure about this. Uh, maybe you can write also this question as well. I'm not sure about like the specifications really and what are the limits you have. But yeah, there are some limits, of course. So there are uh, you probably you are not going to be able to download um, many uh, models, and you are not going to be able to run um, fine tuning or multiple models at the same time but uh, maybe a couple of models should be fine but uh, to be sure just maybe you can ask this on the slack and uh, uh, tag that now because he's more um, like uh, responsible on that side that technical side okay uh, okay. Uh, okay i i just uh, have another question so yeah. uh, can i fine tune the, the model if it's in my local machine can i fine tune it using the server uh, the server computation uh, power? Uh, I don't think so. You cannot. You have to load the model to the server for it to, to be fine tuned. I'm not, I don't think, I don't know if there is a some way to do that, but like, uh, the obvious answer for me is that no, you have to load it to the, to the server to do this fine tune it there. Okay, uh, thank you, Tina. All right, thank you. Uh, so I think uh, there was someone else who had their hand raised. Darius, is, um, weren't you? He's not here. Um, okay, Hilary. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, good morning so uh, yesterday i i didn't have much i was already uh, attending um some other concerns so 
I, I didn't have time to uh, do much. But I I woke up and I accessed the server and um, I've been trying to train the model uh, to fine tune it. I mean, so I I set to training and test uh, using I, I think five yeah i split and i tried i tried to to use a model uh llama for casual llm to try for classification but i also got an issue uh it uses gpu uh so much like 14 gb is a, is it uses the entire 14 gb and then before it completes it says it's run out of memory and if i reduce the batch size I, even to one i still keep getting it there so I've tried uh, looking for the issues online, but uh, uh, not working for me. So I ah. was planning to post that on GitHub. Uh, no, on Slack, sorry. So, uh, so say again, um, you are trying to fine tune Llama? Um, yeah, uh, for auto sequence classification. Uh, <clears throat> okay. I was trying to, uh, to fine tune. Uh, it's not really Llama, I think it's LNAI, but. Uh, I keep getting the issue. And uh, for Llama, uh, using the notebook that uh, for Gary, uh, Meta Llama 27B, uh, yeah, it gives me an issue on accessing. Uh, yeah, I must get authenticated. So uh, yeah, it's what I've been trying to, to do, but um, I haven't asked for it, but I, I, it was a few minutes ago when I tried. So I don't know, like uh, maybe is there like, like some some way I can I can do it quickly. Uh, so uh, Henry, I'm sorry I missed your question. Uh, yeah. Okay. So my, my question. Is, yes. My concern is that uh, accessing Metalama two seven B H uh, HF um, uh, mm -hmm. the, from the pre chain model gives me an authentication error that I must be authenticated. So, well, um, uh, I've seen the steps to log into Agging Face and access the token, but uh, like, could you clarify if that is the case? Uh, so, uh, where are you trying to access? Are you trying it locally on Google Collab or on the server? Or how are you uh, trying to? Both ways. I tried on Collab from the notebook and also on the on the server. Uh, so, both ways, like, Ganesha. So the issue is like uh, accessing Hugging Face uh, from Google Collab. This is very simple. You can just add your access um, the access token the um, token access token to Hugging Face to the Collab Secrets basically, and um, and okay. yeah, it should be able or like you can use the Lion uh, Hugging Face C CLI uh, login to like um to add your uh, Hugging Face uh, token. Uh, there are a couple of ways to do that. You can actually just like define your hug, your token and just add it to when you are loading the, the model. So there are- From there, apparently. Um, I, I think it's uh, EA talking, but uh, um, it, it's working because I've, I've tried now, so. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, that's I used uh, Hugging Face CLI. Okay, that's great. Yeah, uh, so, yeah so uh, thank you. Uh, no problem. That's good. So, but you, you, there was another question you said about like uh, memory or uh, yeah, some, yeah. Okay, tell me. It was about GPU. Uh, I'm using uh, using another a different not Llama a different model um, yeah. for classification. Yeah. I, I I'm trying to run it. I'm trying to yeah, get the model from. No, I'm trying to train it. Uh, yeah. First yeah, parameter uh, on the training arguments and initiated the trainer. Uh, so I'm trying to train, I get an uh, uh, issue that could uh, run out of memory, the GPU. 14, the entire 14 GP is used. And okay. that is, and it hasn't yet completed. If I load it, uh, if I reduce the batch size, to like two, uh, I think that that says try to allocate two, and then it says fourteen GB ran out. For, it's already allocated. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just to can you like um, 
share the like uh, maybe your training parameters and the uh, and the error you're getting so on slack so that we can like okay just to suggest like uh, what yeah okay all right thank you thank you hilary uh so are there are other questions anything else uh, otherwise we can end the uh, stand-up session Um, uh, Hello, good morning. Yeah, uh, so, good morning. um, yeah, as uh, I'm with uh, Shela group, so and uh, yeah, one of two members accessed uh, the GPU, so I was able to just manage download model on VM. And as well as uh, I'm trying to just uh, find uh, the model, but as uh, as as all members said, it says uh, out of memory. So I'm trying to just uh, kill uh, kill the process, and I'm trying again. I'm trying to just reinitiate uh, for for finding model, but finally it works for me and uh, okay. in meanwhile but the power is gone so uh i didn't see the final result actually mm -hmm. and i still am waiting on uh yeah waiting for power and i think i'm for example just uh for for all uh, for all of us uh, it is the gpu given is only one right maybe i don't know but for example if we if our group runs a model so it is already occupied by our groups then other will not access if if the instance is only one so maybe that's why most members uh yes to get this error i don't know that's yeah the thing is that i don't I'm, I'm not sure about like how how is it allocated but whatever in, in like uh, if it's for different for different groups uh the problem is that in the end you have limited uh, dpu and limited memory it's not it's not like um, it's not unlimited so uh, and the models you're using are like uh, you're not using it like the super huge models. For example, you are choosing, for example, Llama 7B instead of any other one. There are la la huge Llama models, but still, um, you need to you need to use like different uh, configurations so that you reduce the size and reduce like um, the the GPU power that need to be to to run just like because the, the you have limited resources is still better than what you have locally probably but it's, it's still limited so you have to use quantization to reduce the size of your model um and then you have to like there are like different configurations you can you can try to to um to reduce like uh, both memory and also like you can like choose between reducing the memory or like saving checkpoints every so often so that like you can uh, restart the instead of restarting the whole fine tuning you can start from a checkpoint instead um so that like uh, yeah if you save during the fine tuning if it's like some issue happened you can start from the checkpoint instead of starting from scratch again uh, so yeah, the, there are things maybe also like other teams, uh, people who have done some fine tuning can share what they have done, like what works for them. And um, so just like uh, to have uh, uh, some kind of like, uh, just help each other basically all on like what works and what kind of configurations are like the best to, to try. So yeah. Again, this is not your problem, <laughs> exactly, but you have to figure out how to use the resources you have at the moment. Um, okay, does that answer your question, Dridier? To some extent, I, I haven't completely answered it. it would, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, uh, Johannes is asking, can I ask this Gary from Google Club? Yes, you can. You can load the model. Probably you're, you're, not, be, you're not going to be able to fine tune it on Google Club, 
but you can load the model and use inference basically and try it out. Um, there is actually like on Google Drive, there is a, a Google Club, then there is a notebook to how to actually load Gary, the, the steps you can take. Um, you can check it out if you are not sure. But yeah, this is a, like it's not complicated, it's so complicated. Hilary? Yeah, in that same collab, uh, what, what is, uh, I, I, I don't know, like when you say Gary, is it the name? Because I'm, I'm seeing that uh, it's, a, it's a model from my a user, I, I use UD. Yeah, that's Gary's model, yes. Gary's, uh, it's not called Gary's. So it's Gary's Logistics, I think, is a company that made this, this, uh, this trained, fine-tuned this model. Uh, but the name of the model is not that. What is it? What is, what is, it? What is the name? Lamento Park, that is seven eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's called. It's not called Gary, but we call it Gary just because it's not the company that made it. Um. Yeah. So that's one we were talking about. Okay. So, like, um, I I've been able to access it uh, myself on the server because I I ran the Hugging Face CLI and what Jabez said. Uh, it's a suggestion that uh, he, that you should run the git config credential store that was that is suggested by the CLI. It will save the credentials for the authentication. Okay, so you you run hugging face uh, CLI. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you but are... again, you again you get an error, uh, some error, but you you have to run git config credential store so that it can store the token. Okay, so yeah, okay, so just you have to because someone else was facing problems with this. So, um, was it Jabez or Getachu? I don't remember who was like uh, facing problems. Yeah, Jabez. Yes, uh, is the, can you explain a little bit, Hilary, the uh, solution? Yeah, so you when you run a green face CLI, you'll be asked for the token, you paste the token, but it. On the first time, you'll get an error, git config. Uh, you'll, so you'll have to run again with git, git config uh, credential help store. Uh, that command will, will allow you to say, it will allow the hugging page to save the token. OK, OK, let me check that. Thank you. OK, thank you, Hilary, uh, for this. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, so Abu Bakr is also saying that you can also to to log in to to uh, to hugging face. You can also use like notebook login. This is like a, when you are using a notebook um, from yeah. So this is another. As I said, there are, there are multiple ways to do this. Uh, you can check and see which one is like works for you or more convenient. Um, thank you, Abu Bakr. Um, someone else? Yes, Abu Bakr can speak. Yeah, okay, so uh, the, I think it can download uh, the data from Collab. Uh, I tried it now, it's working. Uh, so we can just fine tune the model on Collab, right? You, it, you can try, try, you try it. I'm not saying it's, it's not possible. I'm just saying that because the resource is really on, on, got in, on Collab. This free access is are, are really limited. So you can check it out yes. how much you have. So I'm just saying it's like probably you will not be able to like maybe fine tune um, the Llama 2 or Gary on Collab, but you can try. If you have another model that is lighter, maybe you can actually run the fine tuning on Collab. I'm just, I'm not saying it's not possible to try it out. Um, if if you if you like want to try, you can try it. Uh, it's not okay. it's not. Yeah, I'm not saying it's false. So like and then, until I get the uh, the AWS instance working, I'm actually trying to uh, work on the cola. For example, yeah. like do you think uh, like should I uh, use the LoRa configuration or Peft with Peft to try to train the model with smaller instances? 
So I'm actually going to try on collab that one. Yeah, okay. Try, try Laura. Laura is supposed to make it like uh, your fine tuning. Um, like, yeah, it's it makes it uh, uh, less uh, computationally um, intensive, but uh, I don't know. I still, I'm not sure. Okay, you can try Laura, you, or you can try also like freezing as many layers as possible if you want to do that by hand. Please, like, uh, only leave a few layers uh, to train and try that out and see what kind of result you can get i don't know if if it doesn't work you will you will know like um uh, soon soon enough that if it doesn't work again you can also try if you are trying lighter models uh yeah DJ? okay so uh suggestion so maybe uh right i said so we can we can find in Lama to on our on our Google Colab. So uh, I think it is the GPU is enough, but it is it is only the time time limitation. For example, we can yeah. use T4, yeah, T4 GPU, uh, yeah, test. I think Tesla GPU. So so we have only twelve hours, and uh, exactly, if the model yeah. is if the model is greater takes greater than this time, so. Uh, it is uh, crashed, right? So, yeah, you so lose it. it. But the thing is that, yeah, yeah to that, there, there is a time limit. That's the, yes, that's true. There is a time limit, twelve hours of connection, and I don't, I don't know how if you can are guaranteed actually to have the GP the GPU the T four GPU for the twelve hour or not. But uh, the thing is that if you fine tune with checkpoints, saving to the checkpoints, and you, of course you connect your like uh, Google Colab to your drive, so you are saving everything on the drive. Um, you can uh, like the time limitations. You, you could like uh, go around it by saving checkpoints every so often, and then like uh, if you lose connection or if you lose your GP, GPU. You can come back again and starting from the checkpoint, not from the from from scratch. Um, and and yeah, so I, again, I'm not sure how well, maybe it will take so much time. It, it definitely can work for lighter models, like even lighter than Llama. Um, you can actually fine tune it on Collab. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it myself, so I cannot really tell you. Um, haven't tried it with with the free access before, so I don't know. And um, but you can try out, uh, especially if you are like uh, facing problems with uh, with the answers. But uh, the problem with the answers should be solved um, soon enough. If it's not working till now, but it should be solved soon enough. But again, trying is not a, um, trying with Google Colab is uh, uh, fine. It could work. Try it out. I cannot really tell you for for sure and um of course you're not going to lose anything but you can actually um figure out what kind of configurations are better uh, but just uh, trying on google Cloud. anyway so thank you abu Bakr and Rege for for the good for yeah for your contributions um anyone else anything urgent questions or urgent um someone who has an urgent uh, desire to share at the moment. Otherwise, we can end this uh, stand up here. And um, as I said, like uh, uh, many of you 